Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, please don't forget to like and share or like and subscribe um, as that moves the videos around YouTube. Oops. Also, you can cross-watch to my other videos to get further insights um, going forward as well. So we're just dealing with the past right now. These two have to come out as well. Just want to get one more <clears throat> of the astrological deck. So past, present and future. Let's get a goddess, um, goddess cards now. Mary Magdalene, unconditional love. <clears throat> We've got Sulis bodies of water. Need one more <clears throat> from here. So it wants to come out of the don't show. Okay. I'm going to get one from the fairy tarot. Also got the Moonology deck. on your side. New Moon in Sagittarius. Just going to get one more which is the um, Destiny card. So let's have a look. Okay, so we're dealing with the basically history, um, your history for your this relationship. As I said, aspects of it may be resonating strongly with you, but it obviously is also about your journey with your person. So we've got um, the history, what uh, you know, what was in the past, um, what it is either you or both of you have been working on, and that has, has primarily been unconditional love. Um, and also um, the Leo um, aspect of it, which deals with the uh, the solar plexus uh, chakra, which is all about your confidence. It's about creativity. It's about honor. It's about strength. 
um, and also about pride. So you may have been working on this previously, um, whether this has been in your own relationships uh, separately from your person or whether you've been um, dealing with this um, together. It depends how long you've been together and what your situation is. So, um, but unconditional love, love yourself, others and every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. So you have been working on this um, in the relationship within yourself um, and falling back into that. Um, and perhaps, you know, perhaps you've had a lot of lessons to do with that. Perhaps you've had to go through a, a number of ups and downs which have, um, you know, sort of honed your instincts and actually shown you uh, what it what it means uh, to, to have unconditional love, which is actually also about... Um, you know, releasing your energy from past situations, whether it's with this person or with previous relationships, it's releasing your energy from there, the pain, the hurt, or the difficulties, or whatever went down in the past, it's actually releasing yourself from that through forgiveness. Um, and when you do that, you forgive yourself in the situation, you don't have to, you know, it's not about forgiving the person, it's about uh, releasing your energy from being trapped in there and then that frees you up and then that gives you um, you know a, a deeper well of emotion and ability to love yourself and others so these are all the lessons that you've been um, working on um, and with Leo also possibly um, um, various uh, creative um, ex sort of um, projects within yourself or just honing that aspect of yourself this is also about romance it's about um, children maybe coming in with this um, um, anything artistic as well or anything creative um, but it's also as I said about um, integrity honor and all of those things but pride may have been a stumbling block in the past as well um, so all of these aspects have been what one or either of you or both of you have been working on um, um, and to to move you forward um, you know out of that situ those various types of situations it could also be um, past life related maybe there are aspects of this coming in um, from either from this time um, or um, it could also be just related to, um, you know, bringing aspects from a, a, a previous lifetime forward to deal with. And this is what happens when you when you connect up with somebody in a contract in your current lifetime. You actually bring aspects in which you're wanting to work on together, um, and um, you trigger each other. And you also um, have uh, various sort of projects and things that you're getting together to to work on, to overcome or to push forward or to start new things and so on. And this has got a very, it's a very romantic energy actually. It's very playful. Perhaps you've learning been learning about that been learning to overcome um, sort of judgments of others and rather focus on the playful side the creative side children and um, and um, you know the romance and the and the you know sort of um, happy bright cheerful energies uh, all of those aspects you may have been learning aspects of that um, at this time well during this time this time period then the more recent past um, we've got void, of course, moon missing, so there may have been some delays uh, which you've been dealing with in the past. This is the recent past. We've also got Sulis bodies of water. Spend time near water such as a lake, river or the ocean to recharge your battery. So I feel that you have been in a holding pattern um, in the more recent past where um, you perhaps have needed to recharge your batteries and, al and also just to... Um, uh, possibly spending time close to water or you may have relocated uh, recently to a water body um, but it is also about um, the emotional um, aspect of your life and connecting to that and that is why spending time at a water body may have been very beneficial for you but it's connecting to your emotions and um, pulling your energy back to um, to recharge your battery so you may have just been a little bit tired um, and with the void of course moon whatever went down in the recent past um, there would have been a few delays or frustrations but really what it is saying to you is that things have not been what they what they seemed there were other things going on in the background which you were perhaps not aware of um, and that would have pushed you into a phase of just um, uh, continuing with your normal routines, not initiating big actions into anything specific, just kind of going with what it is that you um, are, you know, were doing at the time, um, and it would have um, possibly put you in a position where you were. Um, sort of a little bit frustrated, but also um, feeling feeling like you you just you didn't want to put too much energy into things which weren't going to uh, pan out for you. You know, you didn't want to put too much energy into something which was important to you. 
Um, and you may have learnt along the way that had you done that during that period, it probably we would have got no result or the wrong result or things just wouldn't have panned out um, as you had wanted, you know, at that time. So it would have been just a waiting game. It would have been a rest and recovery period because you would have been tired. Batteries would have been a little bit low. Um, and it would have just been time for rest, recovery and sort of dreaming and planning for the future. Now we move to the present here. Um, so this is where we are currently. Um, so you're undergoing, you and your relationship, um, you're undergoing some uh, some healing at this time. Now with Isolt, um Undying Love, this will also have been about healing. So now with Isolt, um it says the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. So this is saying to you that um, whether this has been tied up, your energy has been tied up with past relationships. Perhaps you ended something or your person ended something. Um, or you may have been together at a previous time and now you're coming back around together again. You know, there's many different ways that this can have uh, uh, manifested for you. But it's saying whatever the situation was, whatever went down with others or with your person, um, that the love that you have shared and everything that um, that occurred between you is, is part of the fabric of life. It's part of the universe. It's always going to be there. And even if you may fall into a few people who perhaps have lost somebody, you may have lost somebody either through through some sort of uh, physical loss as in passing over or it could have been through a, some sort of betrayal or just some kind of upheaval which kind of um, forced, you know, forced a bit of a reevaluation of things. So that may have occurred. But it's saying that whatever love was shared in the past, it was all appropriate. It was all part of your growth and your person's growth. And it's now time to um, open up to receive um, healing. Um, and this is what Chiron is also about. Open up, open your heart um, to receive healing and also to bring the light in and shine it on any wounds that may have been carried over either from a past life or with your current person through all the different ups and downs that you may have been through. Or it could be that either one of you have been involved in another relationship and now you're coming around together again. So, you know, or, or you are, um, you know, now starting your new life with your new person. So see how it applies to you. But it's saying that you need to open up yourself to healing. This is a very swift and efficient healing which is going to come in. But you need to open up. With Isolt, that's what she's saying. She's saying that, you know, um, get yourself ready and prepared to move out into the world, to be more social, to get out and about and spend time in nature, which is also what the Chiron healing card is about. Spend time in nature, get close to the earth, um, do whatever earthly type things you need, get any healing therapies that you're going to need, which is what Chiron is about. Um, it could be medicinal as well, um, um, anything to do with natural therapies, natural remedies and medicinal. Um, it's understanding your body, understanding your emotions, and this will have been healing on a multiple of levels that you, you're currently going through at this time. But she's saying, you know, open yourself up to love again. Be prepared to open up yourself to universal love, which is... Um, endless and never ending and always with us and that doesn't have to be personal love that can be love just from the universe in general you are God's child and you are loved and um, personal love is is another aspect of that which you share with another but you need to fill up your own cup first so that you can give it to another um, so that you can share that love and you have to keep refilling your cup all the time and that's what this energy is about but it's about opening up spend time in nature garden do all the things that um, are, are life enhancing open up and be willing to receive that love and just have a brand new outlook because you're going to get a new outlook on things uh, it's, it's a regenerative and renewal type of energy coming in now with the Chiron healing this is about um, all kinds of healing this is emotional um, um, it can be physical as well. It can be from a physical wound. Um, so emotional, mental, physical healing. Uh, whatever wounding you've had, it could be, as I said, from emotional. It could have been from the past life, but it's also from, from this lifetime, what has gone down. You need to, any wounds or scars that you have that you've kind of suppressed or covered over, um, they tend to repeat until you deal with them, all right? So this is an old thing, something that's been lurking in the background. You've buried it or you try to just ignore it. Um, it may have only happened once or it may have happened repeatedly um, and it does keep coming back until you deal with it. So it's about opening up that wound, allow the light in, know that you, you're supported by the universe in this process, know that you're supported by Chiron and by Isolt in this process, all right? Open up, 
the wound. Have a good look at it. Um, and go back to the original wounding the first time that you noticed it. Because there will be similarities from each time this keeps bubbling up for you. You're going to have similarities. You're going to keep seeing the same cycles. This is about breaking cycles, okay? Um, it's very much a current energy. It's a kind of a it's kind of a key to your life. Um, breaking through these repetitive cycles, okay? So this is about putting that key into the lock and turning it, but the only, you can only do it if you open the door. And this may be to a wound uh, or some sort of uh, sort of um, emotional um, pain that you've had. Go back to the first time it happened, have a good look at it, examine all the emotions and everything that went down around that. Open it, have a look, don't be afraid. And acknowledge that that um, situation that happened um, occurred for a reason. It was a very good reason. It's shaped who you are. It's it's um, shaped your emotions. It's shaped who, you, who you're going to be, who you are in this moment. And really, it's up to you to accept it. You have to accept it. It's had a place in your life. It's had a very necessary place in your life. And sometimes with hindsight, that's what comes to you. It's that understanding. Okay, so open up the wound. Let the light in. Um, accept it, acknowledge it, do the for any forgiveness um, techniques that you can, release your um, your energy from being trapped in that wound, from in that situation, because it will never heal unless you deal with it, okay? So release your energy, you know, put forgiveness on it, and then you'll be able to re release it, and it should not occur again after that. You you know, just keep, keep doing that until you feel that you've cleared it all out completely. This can also be um, on, a, on a physical level, um, a, a, an actual physical wound that happened, but again, you need to examine the emotions around that time, what went on, what was going on for you in your life at that time do the same process with Karen it's also about everything to do with learning about natural therapies learning about um, natural medicine remedies and also any kind of uh, med medicinal measures that you need to be taking or you may just encounter those while you're going through some sort of healing whether it's physical emotional or mental um, and understanding it for yourself and doing your own research doing your own learning in association with that even if it's just for yourself um, once you've done that, you can help others. And this is part of this um, Chiron, um, the beauty of Chiron. It's, it's the wounded healer, uh, wisdom through pain. So that wisdom that you learned going through this process of releasing that pain, opening up that wound, then helps you to move forward. And you can help others through the same process. So whether you um, do it just by listening or uh, dropping in an odd word of advice or help, or whether you actually physically go to study, um, something to do with that. It could be a natural therapy which helps you or a natural remedy which you discover or just uh, something that, you, that you've learned and understood through your process, which then you can formulate uh, for others to learn from. Um, so it's all about that. Also learning and studying is very well aspected with this. Um, and um, it's the understanding of that, but it's also back to nature. Both of these cards are about going back to nature and spending time in nature, which is very, very important to help you ground yourself and to actually um, bring your energy back to yourself, which is what you do when you release your, your energy from those wounds and you pull it back. Once you've done your forgiveness and you've looked at it in the light, you can pull your energy back and then you are empowered. Um, and that's that's the beauty of this healing. So we've also got here three of autumn. Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do. Being compensated for your creative talents. So I feel that this is within your um, within your relationship and um, um, you know uh, one on one with your person. But it may also be a, a, something that you're understanding at this time as well. So this is about. Um, doing this healing with passion and within your relationship. As I said, some of this may be to do with your existing person. You may have gone through a few things. Um, and so um, it's, it's also about understanding all of that and how you can help others through this particular understanding. Um, but it's also about, um, you know, working with the natural energies um, and understanding what love is, what universal love is, what personal love is, the difference. Um, it's also about unconditional love. It's also about um, filling up your own cup so that you can give to others, uh, give to your person in particular. So it's understanding all of that. Um, some of you may be on a twin flame journey or you may be with a soulmate. Um, and there's a lot of um, information out there and um, ways and means that you can get a, a, a deeper understanding of things just for yourself, but also maybe to help others at this time. Um, and just to give you peace of mind, but it is about following your heart, following what is right for you and um, and just being just understanding it fully so that you can you can share and you can bring more richness to your relationship. 
And then we've got um, New Moon in Sagittarius, luck is on your side. So New Moon is about new things, new beginnings. So I do get the feeling there is a renewal or regeneration going on here. Um, and this is personally, but it also, as I say, maybe in your relationship. This is a, a, about expansion. Um, there's the arrow. You, it's focused intention, but it's expansion. Expansion of your current relationship, expansion of your love for one another, or just love for yourself and therefore love for others. But it's um, it's saying that you're, break, you're getting a breakthrough, and I felt this uh, was um, coming in for you with with Chiron. It's a breakthrough from repetitive patterns or or old ways of being and doing and loving. Okay. Um, it's about getting a breakthrough with that. And you've got the universe behind you. This new moon will give you that wind, that energy to move forward. And um, um, and it's, it's a focused intention, okay? So what it is, you know, focused intention, look at the wounding that you, woundings that you've had, examine it, um, and, and shoot the arrow at it. Open it up so that, that you can let the light in. Um, but you, you, it's saying that you've got um, this very expansive, um, energy of Sagittarius. It's like seeing the big picture. Um, Sagittarius is a, is a, a, a energy is very uh, visionary. Um, they see the big, big big picture. It's also about being more social, getting out. And I feel that this is the case with the Isolde card as well. It's about getting out into the world um, and building yourself up to something much better. Because the new moon is basically no moon, and then you start building up to the full moon. So it's the it's the building up of that energy, and you're going to have some sort of breakthrough or luck on your side, um, something that's going to um, expand your horizons, whether it's physically as in travel or emotionally as expanding your emotions, pulling back your energy from all this other wounding to give you, to power you up, you know, and when you pull your energy back from all those situations, let go of the past, then you power up. Um, and Sagittarius is also about uh, believe, you know, expanding your belief systems, understanding you know, your self-belief and your belief in the world um, and becoming more visible, be getting out um, into the world and spreading your message out. And if you are doing teaching or healing or learning, then this is going to be very, very helpful for you. We've also got grace coming in here. So I do feel that this is about going about through all this process which we've discussed with grace, um, you know, Approach this with grace, your healing with grace, and um, your reconnection with yourself, with universal love, with your personal love, with your person. Um, it's about doing it in a graceful and, but, but nonetheless still moving forward um, kind of a way. Now the um, near future, we've got Eracura and we've got Solar Eclipse Revolution. So there is some sort of change or shift or upheaval coming in for you um, with this card. Um, so this is also about self-mastery, which is exactly what we're talking about here. Self-mastery, understanding yourself, how you react to situations that confront you. This card pulls you straight into the present, okay? So something is going to come up in the near future, which is going to pull you into the present. Um, but it's saying it's going to test your commitment, I feel, you know? And um, this is about... Um, um, you know, it, it will be some sort of upheaval, some sort of shift or change or some sort of surprise comes for you. Um, you may have to shift path or shift direction or change your, the way you're doing something. Um, it, you may have to dive in to fix change or create something and you're going to it's going to be better once you've been through that process. But just initially, it may feel it may feel a bit disconcerting. Um, something occurs and now you're kind of um, you're having to get your energy together to solve it or sort it out. But just stay calm. Just stay calm. This is about self-mastery. It's testing your commitment. It's, it's all about your attitude and the way you approach this change or the shift or this upheaval. Um, it could even be a, a a parting of the ways in some way um, perhaps it's a differing of opinion or you have a realization about something and then you reformulate and you, you dive in you fix and you change or you create it and you come back better than you did before so something comes up it's going to test your commitment as I said but it's about self-mastery this is about your attitude your approach to the change approach the change as being a growth point this is a growth point for you you will grow tremendously through this experience all right so um, Irakira is saying um, blossoming, um, you are just getting started, so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. So um, so she's saying that just per persevere with what it is that's going on, persevere with your healing, persevere with your, your loving and your, your relationship or whatever is going on for you, however it's playing out for you, persevere, do not give up because you're only just getting started and here we've got the flowers again, we had the flowers with Isolt, we had nature mentioned 
um, and water bodies and things. So this is about connection to, connecting to your emotional self, um, to the earth. Through You could be learning flower, flower remedies or flower essences, which may come into your healing practice if that's what you've got. Um, or you just may, may be using them for yourself for healing. Connect to flowers. Connect to floral essences, flower essences, bark remedies, any of these things. Um, are tremendously healing flowers in general even if it's just gardening it's going to be wonderful beneficial wonderfully beneficial for you but this is saying you are just getting started with this whole healing process and everything that you're working on do not give up um, it takes time it takes nurturing it takes patience to to work towards what you get what you want to do and with the with the new moon in Sagittarius you're only just starting you're, you're moving up to the full moon so this is escalating in um, in action and this is what this card is talking about, okay? So now with also with the um, solar eclipse revolution, 44 may be important for you. Um, and um, fours are always about stability coming. Um, so there may be an initial um, upheaval, but stability will come out of that. But it depends on how you go about it, your change, your approach, your attitude. Um, and your willingness to change and, and dive in and sort something out. Um, if it's eight that you're looking at, then um, abundance, uh, some sort of fruition is coming and luck is coming in for you again. And, and luck was mentioned here. OK, so it really your 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 um, attitude and your belief and your approach to this shift or change is going to determine the path, whether it's a rocky one or whether it's going to be very progressive. And it's about self mastery. That's really what we are all here to do. Self mastery, no matter what is occurring. And then the um, past, you know, sort of, I would say far future, or at least past this period, um, again, <clears throat> four and four, it could be four weeks, four months, or eight weeks, eight months, um, just depends on, on, on what's going on for you. But um, I do feel that this um, will be uh, in the sort of the first two to three months of the year, and then you're going into the latter, middle, middle to later part of the year. Um, we've got Abadonsha Prosperity, the universe is pouring its abundance out to you, be open to receiving. So as I said to you, prosperity comes in many, many ways, and this can be love, this can be abundance, this can be opening your heart. As I said to you, with Isolt Undying Love, opening up to receive universal love. It doesn't have to be necessarily personal love, although obviously this being a love reading that's going to feature. But this is about opening yourself up to receive. And you can only do that if you deal with your past wounds, okay? Whatever went down, however it went on. Open yourself up, do the work, break the patterns, and you will get through to, um, you will release a tremendous amount of energy for yourself. And I feel once you do that, you will. it will be like unblocking a dam. And um, the prosperity will come in for you. And that can come in many, many forms. It can be windfalls. It can be tapping into abundance. It can be ideas, love, support, um, some sort of... Um, some sort of structure which you perhaps are requiring, like like as 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 is said here, with um, becoming things becoming more solid, stability coming. Um, all of that is available to you. She's got a cornucopia there. Um, it could be um, wonderfully abundant from a monetary point of view. And therefore, once you do that, and you, but I feel it starts with your emotions, being open, being loving, being open to everything um, that's coming in for you, what, what is trying to come in for you. But you've got to do the work. You've got to get in nature and you will tap into that abundant stream. And then whatever you need is going to come to you. Um, we've also got air element communicating here. So this is um, very much about manifestation, which is what this is all about. But you can only do that once you do the, deal with your wounds, open yourself up, break those patterns, do not give up. And tackle any shifts and changes that come in for you with the solar eclipse. It's going to be a little bit jarring, all right? But um, it's your attitude and how you approach the changes that are going to determine everything. So speak positive. This is what the manifestation card is all about. Speak to yourself in a positive way. Your body listens to everything you say, okay? Speak positive to yourself. Speak positively to your person um, and... Um, about your relationship, be positive about it with others as well. Um, and um, it's about ha having a higher um, higher attitude, a higher belief system, uh, which is the air element, okay? You may have a decision to make, um, or more than one decision. Um, you may have to be using your um, analytical abilities, weighing things up, um, shifting and sorting. Um, just apply logic to it, you know? Um, use your mental f facilities to assist you. You may be um, exposed to to new technologies, you may be learning different things, especially with this, um, you may be doing a lot of research for healing therapies or to assist yourself or your person, they may also be going through this. 
Um, but it's also about communicating, obviously, with your person and within your relationship. Hugely, hugely, hugely important and be, uh, must be positive. Positive communication. Sit down, discuss things, spend time in nature together, um, and you will manifest um, the very best outcome for yourself because you've got Abadonja prosperity coming in for you. So tap into that abundant stream, um, open up the communication channels, open up your heart, and um, you will you will get there. Um, some air travel may be involved for you, uh, but it can also be just visiting high places to raise your consciousness and give you perception and perspective, which is very much needed. You know, raise yourself up so that you can see um, give yourself the vision that is what you require, which is what the Sagittarian energy is all about. Visioning, seeing the big picture, that very much comes in with this as well. I just want to have a quick look at the bottom of the deck. Lunar eclipse change, well I feel that is coming in um, to do with the solar eclipse revolution. So there are changes coming in for you. Um, certainly cyclical shifts as well may be coming in for you. Um, so um, this is a, a, it, the same applies. This is about your attitude. You may have a deep realization about something. You could really be solving a great many things at this time with real lunar eclipse energy. That realization comes upon you. That you have a massive perception shift, and now you realize some something is clear for you. Um, but it may take a little while to cycle itself through either six weeks, or it could happen over a six month period. So I said that six month period is coming, and within six months you're going to see these things um, appearing for you. Then um, a time to give rather than to take, new moon in Virgo. So as I said, once you have filled up your cup, once you have done the work on yourself, then you're going to be able to give a tremendous amount. You're going to be able to help a lot of people. Um, and um, whether this is personally or professionally, you're going to be able to help a lot of people. This is about shifting and sorting, which is what I said. It's that using that analytical mind um, and not, uh, you know, and, and getting your own health and well-being in order. That is very much a Virgo thing, focusing on your own health and well-being, which is the Chiron energy and opening up, um, uh, which is salt, opening up to that beautiful energy, universal energy, but knowing that this, the healing is going to be swift um, and um, work on your own well-being and, um, and assist others where you can with constructive and helpful advice. Avoid self-criticism. As I said, your self-talk is very, very important. Um, avoid criticism and nitpicking. This is about being constructive and helpful. And what's the bottom of the fairies? We've got um, five of autumn. Reach out to others for assistance. I feel that this has happened in the past. Poor timing for a career change. Feeling challenged by money issues. So I feel that this is all going to occur um, initially. But once you do the work, then um, you're going to come into this. And as, as I said, it's about manifestation. It's, you're going to speak it into existence. I feel that is coming in for you. Bottom of the goddess deck, Rian and Sorceress. This is another card of manifestation. So this is hugely important for you. Really a, ma a major thing. Full moons may be important. Um, but this is about connecting to nature as well. Connecting to your magical abilities, which is going to be released once you do this healing. Okay? Your magical abilities. We all have them. Um, whatever, you, whatever is your affinity, whatever it is that you do, that is really, really going to shift yourself and shift others. Something that you do, that you say, that you can do. Some a talent or ability that you have. Um, and this is, again, being a sorceress, but using that sorceress energy, whether you're masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. It's about honing in on your uh, uh, magical abilities and applying that to yourself, your relationship, and possibly to others. But it's about blossoming. You're only just starting. You're just getting going, but you will reach, you will reach your goal and you will manifest what you want. Um, it's going to come in for you. Um, and... Um, as I said, the manifestation abilities are very high in this in this reading. So I feel, you know, in the first part of the, the first couple of months of the year, you're going to be dealing with this, but then you're gonna then you're gonna start getting traction. Um, and um, I'm quite sure that you know by the middle of the year you're going to start seeing results. Um, so nine and uh, three, thirty nine may be uh, important for you, but nine and three is twelve. So um, that's three. That's teamwork, angelic help. So this is about manifestation. It's also about downloading, um, connecting to others to assist you to help. Um, you know, get help, ask others for assistance, which is what we had. So you know, do your re research, do your networking, and so on, and you will manifest what you want. Um, and um, so as I said, three, I reckon uh, by three months within, you know, after sort of three month period moving forward into the middle of the year, you, I think you're going to start seeing results. But really, ultimately, it's about you. 
It's about how you tackle this, your attitude, your perception, your uh, ability to manifest change and your ability to handle whatever comes at you um, and, um, and to actually deal with um, any sort of shifts in direction. Um, it really is your perception, your attitude that is going to shift you forward and how you go in and, and fix and change and create new things. Okay, Taurus, hope you enjoyed that. Please take care and um, have a wonderful um, uh, start to 2021 and, um, and I will see you next time.